Hello guys, and welcome back to episode number four of my Gran Turismo 6 Let's Play series. In the last episode we did the Coffee Break Challenge, this time we're going into the Novice Championship. Uh, it's a three race championship, we've got to do all three one after the other, and we're going to Brands Hatch for the Indy Circuit, the full Autumn Ring, and then Brands Hatch again for the full Grand Prix Circuit. So let's enter this. Let's go into race number one. Which is at Brands Hatch for the Indy Circuit. Load. Japanese, Korean, two Canadians, Spanish, and me. And I get, only get 4,600 for winning this race. We got more for the winning each individual race in the last series, but. This is a championship, so at the end of it, you do get a nice other wadge of credits. I assume it's the same as Gran Turismo 5, where that happened. But starting last, as always. Let's get into this. Try and not be too aggressive like I was two videos ago. Let's see how long that lasts, shall we? Nice line for the first one, and very quick overtake. It's good, it's up to fifth. Slow it down for this hairpin. Gaining on A. Van Dam. I wonder if he's related to Jean-Claude. And while I was saying that, I actually skipped a gear change, so that was a very clever joke. Terrible attack. Let's see if we can squeeze up the inside. Yeah, lots of room. Well, I'm not forgetting to break. Almost ended badly. I hate that braking zone for that one. Running very wide on the entry. Slipstream Cooster in a BMW. Hmm. I never thought I'd see the day when I'd see a Honda Fit overtake a BMW. That's shit. Nah, that's not gone well. Just completely missed my braking point for that one. Try not to make the same mistake on that corner. Is that, that's a Renault Aventine. Did they even make those? I know they made at least one because it was on top gear. They tried to make it go faster than an Evo. Just cling to his back bumper. And the slingshot. Absolutely failed. Well, fit behind him. There we go. Some good old aggression for you there. Sling up the inside. Just about nudge Rubio out of the way. Very tight corner. And now let's just power down till the line. See if we can beat our first lap time. We probably will do. Yeah, he's not catching. Half a second victory. Wasn't bad. Is that Renault one, uh, BMW 120i. How is that being overtaken by a Honda Fit? It's terrible. And I've got it over 5,000 credits with my login bonus. And you notice that I only earned one star. That's because I have actually done this race before, but the capture failed. So I wanted to do this episode as a complete run-through without having to edit it. And unfortunately the capture failed on the first one, I came second. Uh, so I had to restart and uh, do that race again. Which actually worked to my advantage that second time round. Now we move on to... I can't remember what this track's called. Where are we? Even that doesn't tell us. No, oh, it's a track. It's got tarmac and corners with cars going around. Autumn ring. There we go. Just saw it on the advertising board on the side there. Start last as always. Let's try and put in a decent start. I don't know, I'm rambling, I'm trying to concentrate on driving. Slipped up the inside of him. Let's 
Contreras out of the way, the Brazilian. And sticking true to form, missing gear changes all over the shop. Missed that one in two separate spots. Well done, me. Now, we have actually done this track before in the first episode, but we only did the short version. Uh, turned right just after this. Uh, not this corner, but the one afterwards. A uh, little bit wide. Too busy talking, not concentrating. Uh, so, yeah, after this... Wait. Right, I had it. Yeah, just here. This is where the track splinters off into the short version. And this one is instead the long version. This nice, long left-hander. Sorry, stifling a yawn. And go around into no, understeer all the way around this 270 degree corner. It's not the way to do it. Now let's try and catch up to the BMW again. I still can't believe that Honda can get past it. Even though, yes, I've upgraded it, I've put a sports chip in. What do you do? That shouldn't make all that much difference. Try and get him. Again, missing gear changes, trying to keep up with him. Let's drop back. Let's just try and keep up with him. Slipstream, slipstream. And drive up his inside at this hairpin. Now on lap two. He's got a French and a Mexican in front. Slide up the inside. Hey! Can you not see the car on the inside of the corner? Stupid Frenchman. And while I was being angry at him, I also got past the Mexican in those series of corners, so let's just try and keep them all behind me for the rest of this lap. Got second lead already after just one corner. Did again. I'm very sorry for yawning, guys. It's quite late while I'm recording this. Uh, really should be going to bed. That's better. Actually, found the breaking point. Just feather the throttle all the way around. Not get too much tire squeal or understeer right off the circuit. Uh, crap. Didn't want to take that line. It's going to let them back on the back of me. Yeah, there he is. Make sure I don't miss the gear. Of course, what do I do? I miss the gear. Right, it's last. Not really a corner. It's full throttle. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, thank God the line's that close. It was actually less distance to me than the Fiat a couple of episodes ago. That was lucky. That was the Avon time. Really? Let's get the replay. Just under five and a half thousand credits again. Starting to boost the bank balance. And three stars. Just what I wanted. And sitting at the top with 200 points out of 200. It's never bad. Just got to make sure I don't come anywhere less than first, just to make sure I actually win. Now we're back at Brands Hatch this time for the GP circuit. When this thing actually wants to load, are you awake? Don't tell me it's crashed. Oh no, good. You was just changing it from daylight to dusk. Or sundown. Oh, sorry. Is it me or am I actually further back starting this race than I was the last time at Brown's Hatch? That doesn't make any sense. That's better than the last time I took that corner in the first race. Slip up his inside again. Find the brake. Go after Jean-Claude Van Damme's long-lost cousin. 
Ah, that was better. Didn't miss a gear either on the exit, which is an improvement, I guess. This is where the track deviates. Alright, no. Nope. Uh, thought better of it. It's been too aggressive before that it wasn't worth crashing over. What was he even in? I don't think I've ever seen that car before. Yeah, that's right, you back out of it. Okay, there it is. Find the braking spot. Seven seconds. That can't be seven seconds, just look at the minimap. Then anyway, it should be concentrating on the road, not the minimap. And another brake point. Just try and go after this BMW again. I like those series of corners. It feels almost like Turkey, but not as tight, uh, Turkey's turn 8, not as tight and in reverse. It's, it's good to get a good sweep on through that. It's, how is that possible? I missed a gear and I'm still overtaking him. Right, make sure I break. This is the time again. On the outside, inside. He's left a massive gap. I'm taking it. Just try not to run wide again. Oh, that was close. Almost let him back through. What's this guy driving? S Silica. No, it's Silica. Nice round the outside pass there. Not going to pay too much attention to that split because I don't just overtaken him. See what it's like at the next one, just go around this next bend. Break. Break again. Wish they'd just give you one braking point. It's up to half a second, that's good. Yeah, just wish they'd give you one braking point for each corner rather than two. So it happens around doing the indie circuit around the last bend, it gives you two braking points. Just try and Make sure we get a break in here because it looks on that mini map like he's catching up. Yeah, he has. Half dip. Crap. Just drop back here. See, I told you that AI just don't take corners fast. They tend to go very slowly. Although, commentator's curse, I've said that. It'll overtake me now, going around one. Yeah, here he comes. I got a better exit, that's good. Back up to six tenths. And Mr. Gear. Shit. This is a quite long straight, you can catch me on this. Break. Good. Turn. Perfect. Now nail it. Come on. Can't push down any harder. There he is. Got it. Little man was waving his checkered flag again. Got it up to eight tenths at the end of that. Wasn't that bad. And I uh, don't care about anyone else. Let's skip the replay. That took a while. Another five and a half, just under five and a half thousand. And a gold trophy. This is starting to go well. Another three stars, so that's all the stars for this championship. Did I know I can take photos of No, I didn't, but I don't really want to. It doesn't seem to be much point in that. Anyway, 300 points out of 300, that's good. And a nice golden trophy. Congratulations, you finished first in the championship. Oh, I've got two trophies. I've got the one in the game and the one from the system. And 8,800 credits coming first. Not a bad day at the office. Alright, back to the menu. Hopefully I get a new car. What? Normally you get a new car straight away. Do I have to exit out of it? Or... Ah, there we go. What do we get? 
a Clio. Yeah, at least it's a Renault Sport. I don't want it in yellow. I want deep black. Beautiful. Yeah, this is a Renault Sport. It shouldn't take too much tuning to get it up to scratch. Don't want to use it now. Nah. Come on. PlayStation's going slow. Right, that's all of the races done. Next episode I'll be doing the National B license so I can go on to the next one. Thanks for watching.